Today, I'm moving my 25 worker Fidole colony into a brand new test tube setup. Stick around until the end to find out what goes wrong. I've owned this colony for about 3 months now, and although their development has been somewhat slow, I've been feeding them quite regularly. Consequently, over time the honey and dead cricket residue begins to build up, and all this old gunk can and will begin to mould, which presents a fairly serious health hazard to the entire colony, which could result in death. Because of this, the colony is in need of a brand new fresh test tube setup. I began by finding an old test tube that coincidentally had a dead queen in it from a while ago. I suspect this queen failed to lay her eggs, and ultimately passed due to natural causes. I removed the queen along with the old cotton, though the test tube isn't ready to use just yet. I recommend cleaning out the old test tube with some warm, soapy water, otherwise some rubbing alcohol will also do the trick. Whichever method you choose, ensure that you're completely rinsing out any soap or rubbing alcohol before introducing the drinking water. Cleaning the test tube like this will kill any particles of mold present, and prevent any from developing in the future. Now that the test tube is clean, you can fill it with water and plug it off with cotton, allowing the colony to drink. Normally, we would block off the entrance of the test tube with cotton. However, because we are moving a colony into here, we're leaving it open for the time being. When moving colonies from test tube to test tube, it is quite important to plan ahead of time. You don't want to rush into it to find out the test tubes aren't going to connect, which will quickly result in many escapees, and especially depending on the species, this is definitely not something that you want to experience. I specifically found a small test tube that will fit perfectly onto the existing one, and because they're such a small species, this is quite important. I began the daring act of removing the cotton from their test tube before quickly attaching the new one. It fit perfectly. To make the new test tube more desirable and encourage the colony to move in, I exposed the queen, workers and all of their brood to a fairly bright light, while covering up the new side with a dark cloth. This perfectly outlines why it's quite important to keep your colonies in complete darkness all the time, as usually they'll be quite sensitive to the light, making the moving process much easier. My colony in particular, unfortunately, is quite used to the light, as I'm filming them at least once a week with the exact same light source, overall making the moving a bit trickier. It wasn't too long before the workers began investigating their newfound home expansion. Now I time-lapsed these guys for about half an hour, and there had been very little progress. I decided to call it a night, and hopefully wake up to a colony in a brand new test tube. I woke up, and couldn't believe what happened to my colony of ants. They all stood still, completely dormant. The queen almost unresponsive. Had I fed them something bad? Then it very quickly hit me. How could I be this stupid? The new test tube had created an airtight seal. They were running out of oxygen. I had no time to wait. I quickly removed the two test tubes and blew to circulate the air in the colony before putting some cotton back on. That's all it took. Over the next 45 seconds, the colony started to spring back to life. It was too close of a call this time. The colony had not moved into the new test tube whatsoever, though there was a fairly impressive garbage clean out that took place. Just take a look at all that rubbish in the new test tube. The move was unsuccessful, however at the end of the day I'd say it was quite a beneficial attempt, as a portion of the trash was moved from their nest, quite possibly reducing the risk of a mould outbreak. For now the colony will remain in this test tube, maybe the next point of action is to create a tubs and tube setup. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Despite the colony's hard work, it didn't get them very far, though I decided they deserved a treat for their effort. Some honey dipped cricket legs sounds like a go. I feel like this video is a great example of what truly happens in ant keeping. You never really know what to expect from an ant colony. In this case, I had a fairly decent new environment for them to move into. However, they simply decided that they were smarter than me. But don't let this discourage you. It's yet another awesome lesson ant keeping has taught me. Sorry that this was a short one, but if you've enjoyed, let me know by dropping a like and subscribing. On that note, Ant Invasion out.